Hello everyone, welcome to this session of in-depth economics. Today we are looking at some concepts related to collection of data. In statistics, sampling means selecting the group that we will actually collect data from for the statistical study. Such sampling methods are not free from errors. Today we are looking at statistical errors, sampling error and non-sampling error. Please watch the video till the very end and hit the like button if you find the video useful. Subscribe to my channel for weekly updates on topic related to your syllabus. While recording numbers, it is possible to make recording errors. Suppose your teacher is asking you to write down 35 and you recorded 53 instead of 35. If such a thing happens, we will call it a human error. But as students of statistics, we will replace the term human with statistical and call it a statistical error. Let us consider five friends who are receiving rupees 500, 550, 600, 650 and 700 as pocket money. Now the population average will be the addition of all these observations divided by 5. So it will be equal to 3000 divided by 5. So we are getting the population average value equal to 600. Now let us take a sample of two who are receiving rupees 500 and 600 as pocket money. So the sampling average will be 500 plus 600 divided by 2 which is equal to 550. Have you noticed the difference between the population average and the sampling average? This difference is nothing but the statistical error in our calculation. So the sampling error of estimate will be equal to true value minus the estimated value. In this particular example, it will be equal to 600 minus 550, which is equal to 50. What is sampling error? Sampling error refers to the difference between the sample estimate and the corresponding population parameter, which is the actual value of the characteristics of the population. For example, average height, average income, etc. It occurs because of small sample size as well as variability between the sample statistics and the population parameters. Larger the sample size, smaller the sampling error is likely to be. There are other errors that can occur while conducting a survey. These are different from sampling error and are termed as non-sampling errors. Non-sampling errors refers to all sorts of errors that are unrelated to sampling. Such errors can arise at any stage of the research problem, such as planning, collection of data, tabulation, data analysis, and also during report writing. Some of the non-sampling errors are sampling bias, non-response errors, errors in data execution. Sampling bias occurs when the sampling plan is such that some members of the target population could not possibly be included in the sample. Non-response occurs if an interviewer is unable to contact a person listed in the sample or a person from the sample refuses to respond. In that case, the sample observation may not be representative. Errors from data execution refers to those type of errors which arises from recording of incorrect responses. Some of the points of differences between sampling error and non-sampling error. Non-sampling errors are more serious than sampling errors because a sampling error can be minimized by taking a large sample. It is difficult to minimize non-sampling errors even by taking large sample. Non-sampling errors are present in all types of survey, including censuses and administrative data. Non-sampling error can be random and non-random, whereas sampling error occurs in the random sampling only. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Till then, take care and happy learning.